folks, then. Welcome back, part three of January. And um, we've got a conundrum. Basically, and this, I'm going to say this quite clearly, despite the fact there's still seven days to go of the window, we've got a game hopefully coming up today against Freiburg, depending on the transfer activity. I don't think we need anybody. Oh, people won't like that. That's uh, People want to see action. The reason I say this is because... I mean, I'll show you. It's better to show you. So I was looking through the squad depth, right? And I'm, I'm, I'm looking through at the potential ability and the current ability. This is the current ability of the squad. Keep your eyes on sort of where the greats are. So there's two great centre backs, one great goalkeeper, uh, one great DM, two great middle uh, middle players, middle players, central midfielders. Uh, no great left midfielders, no great right midfielders. Uh, but we've got greats in sort of the attacking areas again. Attacking midfield, we've got two great, and a striker, we've got great. So look, then you look at the potential, and all of a sudden. Some of these, some of these areas that weren't so great are a lot more great. Midfield is suddenly a lot greater. Uh, on both wide areas, we have great players. For example, uh, Serda will be, will hopefully become a fantastic player. On the right hand side, Yilmaz will hopefully become a fantastic player. So there's an argument to say, yeah, go on, go out and buy players to fit these roles. And, and see how it goes. The alternative to that, of course, is that we, well, not the alternative, but the problem with that is that we restrict these players from becoming as good as they can be. And if they're already in our academy, why spend 40 million on a player to come and fill in a, a position that hopefully in a year to two years, you'll have a ready-made player there that could be there for the next six years. So that's the thing. And then if they do play, if they do play really well and it comes to a point of sale, then selling that player for 60 million, for 50 million, and getting someone in for a slightly cheaper price or someone that comes to our academy again makes more sense. So I don't think there's a great need. Same with the striker issue, right? I'm so, I, we were talking last episode about we need a striker. In reality, Bayadi is coming along really nicely and looks really good. And I think if, if I bring someone in, he he disappears. Like, not only does he, disappear, does, he, does he disappear, but by 2030, when his contract runs up, I probably just let him go. The, the reality is that a 20-year-old Biada is probably the player to replace Luki Jovic, who's 29. You think Jovic's probably going to have one or two more seasons as the starting striker. In one or two more seasons, we're hoping, really, in reality, that Biada comes in and fills that role. Maybe as soon as next year. We'll have to wait and see. Jovic's scoring a lot of goals this year, so we want to keep him around. But there's still a lot of work to be done um, with this sort of player. And we've got a few of them, as mentioned then. I mentioned Biada. There's probably four youngsters in this side that I have to let develop. I have to see how they do. Nick being one of them, that centre-back again. Three Star current ability, five star potential. As mentioned as well, then we've got um, Yilmaz, new to the new to the first team at least on that right side. Again, three star player with the potential as well. Hopefully, I'll reach that. Only eighteen at this stage, remember. Um, and then there's two others, isn't there? There's uh, Serda, twenty three, Turkish, still got time to grow. We'll we'll turn into a good player. I'm hoping. And uh, as mentioned before, then Biad is the other one um, up top through the middle. I'm, I'm hoping these four guys are the future of this Dortmund team, and that's what I'm trying to. That's what I'm trying to do here. So, right, we'll continue through. This all being said, things can change. So we'll see. And as a sale of this, Southampton come in and make a bid for Holberg in the middle. Um, a player that's been at Dortmund for a very long time, but this season isn't playing so much. They've come in with 16 million. I'm going to go for. 18 million and suggest that and see what they say they think that's acceptable i don't think 18 is too bad i don't think we're going to get much more okay and that then brings us then to uh well actually firstly diwara amadou diwara as a as a midfield option i mean he looks pretty good doesn't he but 29 not our guy henry green then to dortmund uh, i've read a lot of your comments and it's a tricky one but i think based on what everyone said and i'm inclined to agree and it kind of goes into the bayada and yilmaz thing that it's just not the right time for Henry Green to join us. Maybe in a few years when I can afford to just sort of spend money willy nilly. But we won't. We won't be signing him. I hope he gets more games at Stuttgart. I hope this maybe encourages someone else to go for him. Good player needs a good home. Dresden, go get him. Dresden, go get him. Now, if we're losing a player, we're losing Holberg. Is it time to bring in a central midfielder? That's the question. Now, they mentioned last episode I would look through and try and find some, uh, I'll call them Wonder Beasts. I didn't find any Wonder Beasts, though. Henry Green's going to, to, to negotiate. He wants me. Look what you've done. But no, I, I said I would look through. And again, it came to the point that I was, everyone I was looking at, every single player I looked through and saw, I then compared to what's going through. So you'd off, you'd compare them to the other ones and you'd go, right now, they're probably like sort of 10% better, but in three years, will they be? Like, will a 20-year-old Yilmaz be one of the best players, but one of the best wingers in Europe? That's kind of the hope. If you get, like, his dribbling ups around 14, 15, you're absolutely laughing. All of a sudden, you've got a fantastic player on your hands, as well as all those other attributes growing as well. Mental's already pretty good for a player his age. So, uh, 
I want, like, obviously, there's, I play football manager, right? There's part of me that wants to go in hard on a big player. I'll start again. There's part of me that wants to bid big for a big player. Oh, dear me, I've ruined it. You get what I'm saying? There's part, like, there's that idea of bringing a huge name that can light up not just the, the, the players in the dressing room, but the fans as well. They love it. The board are excited. It gets me excited. It gets you excited. But it's not quite happening. That player could have been Andre. Uh, Aya Schutbecker, who I've just bid 40 million for, but they've said no, he's at Red Bull. Um, they've just bought him for 13.5. It annoys me that I'm slow to this, didn't see it. Basically, I feel like Liverpool and Red Bull are Southampton. They've got so many players that are really good that are too expensive. Oh, and please, Freiburg have gone in for Henry Green. Henry Green might get a club. He might play against us. Oh, hang on a minute. I don't think there's enough time. I think we're fine. Okay, then, Freiburg today. There's still time in the window. Don't, like, after this game, there's still two days, and a lot can happen in those two days. So, obviously, stay around after the game. We'll see what happens. Freiburg, then, are opposition. I made all those players able to play in the... Okay. I let them all play because they needed the fitness, and now they can't play today, so that's gone well. If Birch Toll's leaving, is it time to pull him out and put someone else in? It may well be, you know. It may well be. I think bringing Sydney back in and then put Quimby in that attacking role. Like, I think Quimby looks pretty good there. Plays pretty well there. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with it. So the team for today then, Chimenti in goal, uh, Vinicius, I should say by that, a lot, a lot of people are inquiring about Vinicius, not the same one that's moved to, I think, Real Madrid or is going to Real Madrid, who's very, very young, it's a regen, so it's not, it's different. Vinicius, Leo Rosia, Jr. from Rio de Janeiro, not at Real, never been at Real Madrid, no, not going to Real Madrid, hopefully not going to Real Madrid, that would be irritating. Anyway, he's at the back with Silva and Engler, we've got Pastak at the back as well, and Signy's there, Quimby, Ivan on the left-hand side today, going to try something a little bit new with him on that left-hand side. Uh, Moncuro in behind Jovic and Omar Yilmaz on that right-hand side. Uh, injuries still to Khalifa Kalafa, who's only just come back to fitness, and Tolga Serda, so they can't play on the left-hand side. Ivan, I'm going to give it a go. Could play Cordo Walker there, but Ivan's a little bit more accomplished. I'm just interested to see how he does as a right-footer. Because I avoid right-footed, left-sided players. Because I don't, I want them to cross, and they don't cross as much. So, anyway, they're playing a 4-4-2. Exciting. We have favourites here. Go out there, give the fans a performance to cheer for. Okay, team sort's going pretty well, so we'll give him that. Um, okay, we are fourth in the division. It's very tight at the top, though, don't forget. Uh, Freiburg are sort of mid-table, as I say, ninth position. It's a game we have to win, and our form has been a little bit patchy at best. And Sydney with a free kick, that's a good start to any game. I'll enjoy that. I mean, he's got he's called William and Singy. He's got the word sing in the middle of his name. I feel like we should be there should be a song sung, but I don't have... I don't have anything appropriate. And it's not like me to just sort of force in a jingle when someone scores, is it? Oh, no, that harp guy. Okay. That harp guy. People weren't like I said it like that. And Sydney then, free kick, fired in. Oh, curling as well. That is one... I will say that is one hell of a free kick. Can we look at that from behind the goal? So if you look at it from this angle, hopefully it's still, like, relatively clear. He, he steps up, and it, I don't know if it, it's got a lot of bend on it, but it looked as if it did do a little bit of bend on it. A lot of curl on it. I quite... Oh, that was quite nice, wasn't it? I don't use this behind goal camera enough. I quite enjoy that. It's just something different, isn't it? That's all it is. Okay, forward again with it. Engler, we're, we seem to be dominating. So look how far we are, like, pushed up in their half at the moment. And Signy with it into Quimby now, playing in this more advanced role because uh, Birchtold... Oh, Birchtold's not leaving. Hang on, it's not Birchtold. It's... It's Holberg, isn't it? I dropped him. His, his morale was bad. I assumed it's because he was leaving. Right, tip. Pro tip of the day. For if you play a football manager, know your players. That's a key instruction. There'll have been people shouting at the screen. You may have already already left a comment. Regardless of this, the mistakes have been made. We we carry on. Luki Jovic. How has that happened? I mean, he's shot from distance. It's gone wide. Know your players. Know your players. That is what everyone... To, that's basic. Rule one. Know the players. Birchtold, Holberg. I don't know what's going on. Okay, final chance of the half, you would suspect. And hopefully, if we keep the ball, it's going to be in our favour. This formation works far better than it ever would have done normally, I feel like. Quimby uh, into Insigne now as he drives forward with it. moncouru has got it. He's got Jovic ahead of him, but he's going alone. Moncouru, it's not good. I mean, we've had 18 shots in this half. 1-0. 1-0. So at 1-0, um, we'll tell them that things are going well, but you're capable of even better. They've listened keenly, that's it. They've only listened keenly. It's not enough. You weren't that bad. I think you can improve. We'll say that to all of them. They like that. They love that. They love that. Oh, say that more often, Benny boy. You weren't complete rubbish, but and you're probably better than that. <laughs> Thank you for leading 1-0. That should, that should have been part of it as well. You can see, though, it's, I mean, top four at this point, like, get into the Champions League. The top five is very, very close. As a, as a long throw is put in, it's fallen to this number seven guy. Just don't let him shoot. It's... Uh, <laughs> 
they've had some chances. So far, 60% possession. Well, we're forward with it again. Quimby and Insigne, he's just he's driven it a goal, needlessly. Ball played forward. Oh, you absolute buffoon. Englert's fouled him. I mean, obviously, he's on the yellow card while he does that. Needlessly goes in from behind. And there we are. 1-0 Dortmund, 10 men Dortmund. I mean, he's off. Now, it's a good job Nick's here to try and solve this absolute mess. I think Yilmaz probably takes the bullet in this situation. And we uh, we just put another defender on. Paslak's got a lot of work to do on that side. In fact, what we'll do is we'll just go for a quick switch. Uh, oh, no, no. We'll just keep it as is. I'm not. I'm faffing. Faffing. Messing about. Not the other thing. You sickos. You dirty sickos. So, Luki Jovic's having a very... Luki Jovic when he doesn't score kind of game. Uh, we're going to bring on Bayada, give him a chance to prove he's the real business. And uh, with about 10 minutes to go, down to 10 men, we've just got to sort of hold on here. I'm, I'm inclined to get more defensive, but as the time just ticks away, absolutely no need. There's a minute to go. Just don't, whatever we do, don't mess it up. It's as simple as that. Quimby's with it now. Quimby plays it forward to Biada, who could score. So if he scores a magical goal, then we'll remember it forever. Ivan, where's he going? He's going inside with it. Right foot, of course. Oh, he slams it against the post. He, he failed to respect the equipment, and he's been punished for that. 30 shots on target, though. Freiburg have had nine. There we have it. I should say that on that, by the way. If you want a respect the equipment t-shirt, I mean, that was not planned. He's hit the, he's hit the post. That wasn't me. Uh, they're on sale until tonight, watching this video. So if you're watching this after midnight, you've, you've missed out. But till tonight, link in the description. I was going to say they're lovely, but it's a Weber t-shirt, so it doesn't work. Anyway, 1-0 win and two more days of the transfer window. Will anything happen? Probably not. What are we expecting? I think a sale, probably. <laughs> Problem is, if we sell him, do we need to bring someone in? If In times of trouble, go to the transfer list. So who, who is available on the transfer list that we can potentially, you know, coerce? to come in uh, is there any sort of golden oldies that we can bring in that you know would uh would suit just my ego i've just bid for someone on this list we'll play a little game who do you think it was oh it, it literally says bid on yuri tillerman so that that's a giveaway i've bid for him we'll see what happens so he wants eighty nine thousand pounds a week he wants a three-year contract 2.5 signing on fee and 1.5 agent that should do the business and we'll knock this down to eighty thousand. we'll lock it in boom Ah, oh, flipping it. I was, I was hoping for that was just going to look good. Um, okay, ten million for him. He's still good in my book. He's still decent, and he's a he's a cheaper replacement for an older player. So suggest terms. It's Yuri Tielemans. There you are. Don't say we don't. I didn't sign anyone because we literally have today. Ray, I'm already overloaded in the midfield. I don't know why I've done this. Experience. That's why. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. He's been in the Champions League with Spurs. Um, he's twenty nine. I love that. Key passes. The most key passes in the game was Cimenti with zero. So I'm not convinced he has done the most key passes, but let's, I'll let the game decide. Stuttgart accepted bids. Oh, Henry, good luck. I don't know where he's going. Hopefully he stays in Germany so he can like pop around for dinner and things like that. There's a lot of loading before deadline day. I don't know what's happening. We've, I've been here for about, and I'm not, I'm not over-exaggerating, six minutes. So just six minutes of silence. <gasps> Oh my god, who knew? So we'll take part in deadline day. Uh, Gendry has got an offer. Well, this is interesting. This would be like a really straight-ish swap for Tielemans. He's probably better than Tielemans. Hold on, is he better than Tielemans? You need Tielemans. He doesn't have the experience, I'll say that much. So Tielemans is slightly better attacking, technical, and has got better vision, slightly better speed. Not as good at defending. We've got quite good defensive players already, though, so I'm not too worried about that. Actually, the more I look at it, the more it makes sense. Again, she's not played for me. They're very similar players. I've not actually scouted Tielemans. I should probably have done that. We'll just get a quick scout report. It'll be instant, I hope. Okay, there he is at three star. He's a three star player. Excellent. Good. Well, there we are. We're fine. Diego Viotti has been offered to me. No. Rivas has been offered to me from. No. They're not bad. They're just not what we're looking for right now. Deals can be done on this deadline day. Okay, so Holberg is off to Southampton. Hang on. Didn't he. Okay, well, we've lost money, but we've got a lot of good performances out of him. I mean, I say we, I haven't, but they have. 18 million, he goes back. That's not bad. Like they, like He loves it there. So send him back. He wants to go. Enjoy it. So that's one out. Tielemans in. It's all kicking off. Tielemans in, you come. Sit down. Enjoy the food. Okay, so that's two done. One out, one in. Um, not sure there was any point. All right, well, anything else happen? That's the big question. Any more deals going to come in? Apparently... Fans are disappointed that he's left. Get over it is the answer I'd give you. We still need, probably need a centre-back. Is it time to bring one in? We've got 64 million. Let's look for one. Any transfer-listed centre-backs that we can get get on the quick? Dale Fry. No. Nastasic. No, oh, dearie, no. <laughs> Blimey, no. What about the loan list? Anyone? No. We get Lincoln in from, uh, from Sao Paulo. 
He looks pretty well rounded, doesn't he? Let's face it, he looks really well rounded. Mentally awful. Forget it. Marco Greco went to Everton. That sounds like the start of a nursery rhyme. I, that's it. That was the end of it. He's now worth a lot more. I sh we should have got him to Dortmund. I'm looking through. I, there's, there's no one standing out right now. Um, B team. <laughs> have we got any other centre backs? Um, oh, this guy. Justin Harling. Let's get him in the first team. Bring him up. Bring him up. Let's give him a go. Let's put him in a really pressure cooker situation. Bring him for Get him tutored. All right. Diego Silva can tutor him. We bring him into the foot. Justin. He's. News. Hold on. News Justin. He's here. It's Justin. You might be thinking, shouldn't there be someone else doing this? I mean, this isn't transfer news. So. Never mind. Forget I even mentioned someone else maybe being involved. Where's Ben Sports News? I don't know. We live different lives. Tweet him. Find out. By all means, at Ben Sports News on Twitter. Tweet him. Find out what he's up to. I don't know what he's doing at the moment. I'll leave a link in the description. That's how far we'll go. All right. Transfer window nearly over. And um, I've bought in Yuri Tielemans. I don't know if I've done a save where I've not bought in a, an older version of Yuri Tielemans. When does deadline day end, though? I'm just sort of sat here. I mean, I've not, I mean I'm have not. I mean, i not doing any business. I'm just waiting to see if anyone bids for Luka Jovic, and they're not, so... When does it all when does it all stop? Did I promise someone a move? This is always this is all too late to be thinking about. I can't help but think Birch told is gonna to be annoyed with me. I guess we're about to find out. This is what happens, by the way, when you load every single league in Europe. So this is what happens. So anyone thinking of doing a journey, man, be ready for this. Gentry's transfer was cancelled. Brilliant. And um that's it then. That that wraps it up. That wraps it up. He looks could we have got him? Was he? No, he was never available. If you'd been, imagine that. Imagine if he was he was available. Oh, he's what? 10 million? Left side. Oh, great. Right, then I'll leave you on the leagues in focus screen. If you want to see how other teams are doing around Europe at the halfway stage, do feel free to check it out. I don't think Bill Bow doing very well. Barcelona, not so much. Uh, right then. I'm sorry, that's my word. Okay, if you've enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. If you want to see some more, subscribe to the channel. Um, as mentioned, respect the equipment t-shirts. They're gone after today. They probably won't be back. So I'm letting you know right now. Uh, we love with care. From to Benji. Until next time, I'll see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. I've bought, I've bought Tiedemans. I've bought Yuri Tiedemans. For absolutely no reason. I don't know. Okay.